Welcome back to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I am busy working on my big piece for the next Magpie Times, the issue that is the Midsummer Magic issue. And I'm working with a lot of, this is a, this is a composition, a pattern with fairy houses. You know, the kind of thing you see out in the woods these days, like there's all these fairy house events where people make these tiny little whimsical cottages with impossible charm, fairy sized little cottages out in the woods. Well, this is a composition, um, I haven't come up with a name for it yet, but it is a bunch of fairy houses. And it seemed like a great opportunity to use a ton of my fancy fibers. For example, this is this one. So while this isn't a fiber, it's such a thin, it's such a thin one, right? It's a little bit metallic. It's like almost like a ribbon. This wouldn't be something I would use every time, but for this composition with a little bit of sparkle, it is really, really um, sweet. And you would think really difficult to hook with, right? It's like gossamer. It's like a little spider's web. Well, it's actually not. I, I started out with it um, just single ply hooking away. And then I doubled it up because I realized I had enough. I was in scarcity mode and I thought I might run out. But I doubled it up and I, I'm keeping it with my fingers underneath as I hook flat like a ribbon. So it comes up horizontal like in the shape of a Pez candy, right? Not just like a dit dot. But um, it is a lot of fun to hook. It goes really easy, really fast. It fills in really fast. And you probably can't tell here. And I don't want to pan out because I want this piece to be a surprise for you when it comes out in Magpie. But it does have a lot of sparkle. It is a lot. It is a lot of fun. I was hooking with something right there that's super metallic. Like that's like a crazy, crazy one. Foil. That's like a just a straight up yarn foil. But you'll see when I get a little bit further along, um, all of the fancy fibers that I have used in this particular piece. And it's just a great kind of opening um, to think about whether it's this pattern or another pattern that you've got at home kicking around, or maybe an, an idea that you've got uh, evolving in your imagination. It's good to think about all of the unusual fibers that you've got and what kind of a pattern would be a good vehicle for using your craziest, fanciest, most non-traditional fibers, right? It's a good conversation to have with yourself in the middle of the night, God forbid, if you wake up. I will see you next time at Ribbon Candy Hooking.